on page six with action news. We are currently covering the developing storm, Hurricane Dan. Dan, a powerful category three storm, is moving into the Central Jersey area very quickly. We have Cliff Clydesdale out on the street. What seems to be the mood of the local citizens out there, Cliff? That's right, page six. This is my Peabody Award 2007. Reporting live from the local apothecary awaiting the deadly effects of Hurricane Dan. I haven't felt this much hot air since I've been in a courtroom listening to a lawyer give a summation. Oh, oh, oh excuse me, ma'am, come here. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi. Your name is? I, I'm, I'm Flo. Flo? Flo, yes, Flo. How are you doing, Flo? I, I'm doing just fine. Do I you have a couple some, minutes? I, I really don't. The storm is coming, but what, what do you need? What are you doing to prepare for this storm? Well, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I just sent my partner out to go get um, our elderly neighbor out to take care of the elderly neighbor and pick up our dog. I've got to go get some supplies in here. I've got to get some batteries and some candles and and water and things that I need. I've got to go over to um to I got to pick up the heart medicine. I, I I've got to pick up heart medicine. Can we do this? Can we follow you around to see sure, what sure. preparations? I got I got to pick up the heart medicine. Okay, let's I got to get done. Reporting live from the local apothecary, we have something new, page six. We are going to follow around resident Flo to see how she prepares for the upcoming hurricane. Take it back to you, page six. Okay, Cliff, thanks a lot. We'll be back to check in a little later with Cliff as we continue our coverage of this menacing storm. Now in the news, a ban has begun on all foods containing sugar due to a widespread outbreak of an unknown disease that causes the flesh of people to fall right off their bones. The FDA advises that people stop eating food. We're now going to go back to Cliff, who is following the hurricane preparations with some local citizens. Cliff? Reporting on location, this is weatherman Cliff Clydesdale with Flo on the go. Where are we going, Flo? We're going to get gas for the car and for the generator. You heard it here. We'll be back. Oh, Cliff, I sure hope that Flo stopped at the bank to get some cash. Filling up your car nowadays is crazy with the price of gas, not to mention she's got to fill up that generator. Isn't that right, Tommy? Tommy, our producer, he's a funny guy. Uh, on a national note, President Bush has decided to finally throw in the towel and hand the presidency over to the Democrats. In a comment he made to our cameras, the president has said, I now realize that the strategy I have used to run the country is going to eventually cause a nuclear war and the end of human life as we know it, will be over. In the coming days, President Bush will retire to his Crawford, Texas branch, where neither cattle raising or farming goes on. I see that we're now back to Cliff. Cliff, what's going on out there? And this leg of the journey is for? Picking up the kids at daycare. Some people call it high school. I call it daycare. Very good. This is weatherman Cliff Clydesdale interviewing the local administrator, Mr. Stevenson of the high school. Mr. Stevenson, what are you doing to prepare for this hurricane? Well, fortunately, we've been prepared for quite a long time. We're utilizing uh, the national centers that were established back in the 1950s in case of a nuclear holocaust. And what we we're doing, we prepared them with, with water and food so we can last at least four days in case of uh, tornadoes and hurricanes. With, cause that to happen. We've notified all parents both in writing and using our up to the state of the art email and phone calling system to let them know. We've been able to program all cell phones. So right now all the children's cell phones in North Plainfield have been ringing warning them of the pending danger and where they can go for assistance. We also have uh, doctors coming in to be able to provide uh, support for children and we've, we've uh, notified the local uh, funeral home just in case. Page six, I have never seen such an administrator so prepared. North Plainfield is on its way for Hurricane Dan. Well, those kids sure don't look too scared. I wonder if they know that the storm is approaching. That Principal Stevenson sure seemed to be prepared. Did he really contact the local funeral home? Hmm. This brings me to our next story tonight as we continue our coverage of Hurricane Dan. There's been a report of killer bees attacking a group of rabbit hunters in northern Wyoming. It, we've been told that the bees swarmed upon the men as they were packing up after shooting several rabbits and small woodland creatures. 
No one was severely injured, but maybe those men will think twice before they shoot the cute fuzzy bunnies. Oh, my producer Tommy is telling me that Cliff is standing by at the home of Flo and her family. Let's see what's developing there as they prepare for the first blows of Hurricane Van. Reporting on location, this is weatherman Cliff Clydesdale once again with Flo awaiting Hurricane Dan. Over here we have Jojo getting home with our elderly neighbor Rufus and our dog Rabies. Oh, oh. Did you get him? I got him. Rufus and Rabies. Come on, Rabies. Oh, Rabies! She was getting her hair done. Oh, come on, Rufus, you can do it. Come on, Rabies. Come on. Come on. I found Rufus walking around town. Hi, how are you? This is anchor weatherman Cliff Clydesdale. Your name, ma'am? My name? What's my name? Jojo. Jojo. And I'm sir, Flo. Rufus. And the dog's name is? I'm sorry. We don't Rabies. We don't have time We don't have time for this. Does he have his shots? Yes, I did. This is 44, <laughs> Manila. Thank you. Reporting live, awaiting Hurricane Dan at JoJo and Flo's house. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Page six. I gotta go boil the water. I'm going to boil the water. Live. No, I'm going to get this. Page, page six. Can you hear me? You got you. We are a little chaotic here, no. waiting this, no. this storm. No. Hurricane no. Dan. JoJo, can I talk to you? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, what's I going on there, Cliff? I'm too busy. Well, what's going on here? Okay, okay. here's, going here's what's going on. Wait, Jojo. Go tell our elderly neighbor to fill the tub. Okay. Then come back. All right. Wait, okay. Jojo. Take the rope. I think we <laughs> Maybe later we can have a hurricane sure. party. <laughs> I hope she knocks on the door, Cliff. So, downstairs, kids are sitting, watching some TV before the power goes okay. out. Okay. Just relaxing, wanted to get them out of the way, get them calmed down. We've got the bathtub being filled upstairs. If you follow me, we're going to go outside. We're going to empty the pool. I can show you the supplies that we purchased. Did I show you my Peabody Award? Yes, you did, back at the uh, local apothecary. We have lots and lots of water. Cameraman, could you get a close up on this? Page six, can you see the amount of water that they have amassed waiting this terrible storm? Wow, that, I hope they've got a couple of restrooms here, Cliff. Yes. Somebody hit the Costco. Oh, oh, water. Jesus. What, what, what's going on? What's going on? Rufus, he didn't fill the bathtub. He's in the bathtub. Where are you now, Cliff? It seems that there has been a problem here about filling the bathtub. I'm here with local resident Rufus. Rufus. Yes. Why are you in the bathtub? Because we're gonna have a flood, you idiot. You heard it right there. Flo, what are you doing now? All right, we've got our final preparations because the storm's just about here. I've got to empty the pool. And I'm Ruf gonna empty this first. Rufus, go back inside. Okay. Oh, I can't find Rufus. Rufus is right here. Rufus, you stole my bottle. I'm stealing this too. <laughs> but I got the beer oh, here. And now we're ready for a hurricane party. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Anchorman Cliff Clydesdale reporting. It's going to be one hell of a storm. Back to you, page six. A hurricane party? That's a great idea. Somebody better keep an eye on that, Rufus. Cliff, those ladies really seem to know what their priorities are. Speaking of ladies. The 9th Annual Curves Ice Cream Challenge will be taking place in Pleasant Valley Park on Sunday, June 22nd. Teams are forming now, and you can go to www.curvesicecreamchallenge.com to sign up to eat your team's weight in ice cream. Shout out, ladies! I'm Page Six. We'll be back shortly with continuing coverage of Hurricane Dan. Twitter.